people with estranged family members. And Kelly Kitley, owner of Serendipitous Psychotherapy, joins us this morning to talk about some ways to cope with that kind of situation. So let's start with some of the common issues that can cause these kind of rifts between people. Sure, Michelle. So this sometimes is not the most wonderful time of the year for families. And there can be distance from family members. If people are feeling unresolved conflict, sometimes there's generational trauma of sexual or physical or emotional abuse. Or sometimes somebody may have some difficulty in conflict around politics or religion or choice of lifestyle. And so I think oftentimes people expect that we were born into this family, this is what we need to do around the holidays is come together. But I really encourage my clients to maybe spend time with chosen family if they are estranged from their own family members. And that's a good way to cope and plan for the holidays. Days. What are some other recommendations? Absolutely. So especially for people who host family gatherings, reach out to people that you know might be having a difficult time. There are lots of people and lots of love to be given and received, and it may not come from your family of origin. So oftentimes we may have a tendency to focus on, oh my gosh, this is so horrible. I wish I was in contact with this person. If you're not the person who intentionally decided to be estranged from a family member, Focus on the people that are around you and focus on the gratitude that you're experiencing in your own life. That's a good way to approach it. Um, so if a person does want to reconcile, any recommendations in terms of first steps for that? Yes, absolutely. So you really do need to have a willingness from both parties for reconciliation. And sometimes people are estranged from siblings or parents for years, but there may be a healing process that one person does on their own and may decide to reach out to another family member. But it's really important to be able to have a conversation in a safe environment and recognizing that both people are coming to the table with an openness. And then also have to be prepared and in case that is rejected and not responded to in the way that, that you would hope for. Most importantly, sometimes it can feel really vulnerable to put ourselves out there and then feel rejected. So making sure that you have support after that conversation if you are working on reconciliation. Absolutely. All right, Kelly Kitley, thanks so much for being with us as always this morning. Thank you. JC, send it to